Hello everyone, Lawrence here from Unicorn Reviews and today we're going to talk a little bit about Kaspersky's Total Security. So this is a multi-device antivirus and more software suite. So you can have it on your smartphone, your desktop, your tablet, your laptop or your other desktop basically as many devices as you buy licenses for. Uh, I have it on three devices installed. So I have it on my smartphone, I have it on my Surface, and I have it on the desktop over there. And I've been using it for two weeks now, and I wanted to just share my thoughts on it because as a power user, I haven't really been running an antivirus software for about six years now. Um, so the first thing I did when I got Kaspersky's Total Security was update the virus databases and scan all my devices. Luckily for me, uh, I'm pretty smart about which links I click, which attachments with emails that I open, and I didn't find a single one on my devices. So this video may not exactly be for the power users here, it may be more for my parents, for example, my girlfriend, my sister, my grandparents, who are not as savvy when it comes to clicking the correct download button on a page with 200 download buttons. The main thing for me was that it was not allowed to take up a lot of resources, so I first installed it on my Surface, which is by far the slowest device I have, and if it was going to take up too much resources, I would know it right away with the Surface. Um, but I have to say, it doesn't impact performance at all, really. Uh, I also had a look at AV Tests database, and Kaspersky's um, antivirus software is the best performing uh, in any sort of way any measurable way. It's the best performing antivirus out there. Um, that of course means it comes with a little bit of a price, but more about that later. Starting with the scan settings, because to me that's the most important thing about the total security package, the antivirus scans. Uh, you can do a full scan, quick scan, background scan, all that sort of stuff. The most important thing to me is that I can schedule scans so that it isn't going to do a massive scan when I'm in the middle of exporting a video like the system behind me is doing right now. Another really important aspect, to me at least, is intrusiveness. So on this laptop right here, I have Norton Antivirus. It came with the laptop, I didn't buy it or anything. Um, but it's so annoying, like whenever I plug something in or out, or whenever it feels like it, I'll get this pop-up message, which is super annoying. With Kaspersky, in your phone, you just have a little logo at the top saying that you're secured. Um, with my laptop, when I plug a USB drive in, It'll ask me once, like, do you want to scan external device? I just click no, don't ask me again. And that's perfectly fine. When my databases for the viruses are out of date, it'll notify me, but it won't do it every five seconds, which is great. And I like how unintrusive total security is. With a name like total security, you do expect it to do a lot more than just scan for viruses. So here are a few extra features that total security comes with. The first one is safe money, which is an extra layer of protection when you're doing online payments. Now, I like the idea of it, but for me, it did give me once a little error with a PayPal transaction where I was not redirected back to the reseller. So perhaps turn that off if you're really sure about your connection. Um, but it may be a nice extra layer of security. There's also a password manager, so if you just log in with your Kaspersky's account, it'll just synchronize your passwords between your smartphones and your tablets and your laptops and your desktops and all those devices. So that's really nice to have because having an easy password manager means you don't have to be able to remember your own password, which in terms means that you can make way more complex passwords which are harder to crack. So that's really nice to have that sort of security built in. It also comes with really good privacy protection. And this is what I really like about the package. So what you can do is allow certain software to use your webcam or not use your webcam. So normally when you go into Chrome, you, every website asks for permission to use your webcam, but apparently that's not really secure because there's even pictures of people like Zuckerberg putting tape on top of his webcam and it just looks super stupid. And if you have some software that can really disable your webcam when you don't want it to be used, then that's a great feature. It also has more privacy protection in the form of data collection. So for example, you know, when you go to a website and a shop, for example, and then for the next week, whichever website you visit, you get targeted ads. And this will also turn off those data collections where the internet tries to take your data and know who you are and use that to sell you stuff. So that's really nice to have that too. It's not as good for my ad revenue with this YouTube channel, so please turn it off for my channel. More really cool features are a system backup. So you can really easily backup your entire system to an external drive or to a network drive using Kaspersky's Total Security. Again, 
There are alternatives for it, but it's nice to have everything built into this single package. And then for the parents out there, there are parental controls. So obviously you want to be able to completely ruin your kid's internet experience. So that's what parental controls are for. And you can just block certain websites or software completely from your children, which is really nice in some ways to keep your kids safe, but you can also abuse it to make their lives miserable. And then perhaps one of my favorite features is the built-in VPN. Now, sure, standard, it's only 200 megabytes a day, which is not a whole lot, but it is enough to do chatting, do your payments, that sort of stuff. You're not going to watch YouTube 4K videos over that VPN because that's not crucial data anyway, but it's just great to have it. So in general, my conclusion with Kaspersky's Total Security is I really like it. It's unintrusive. It performs very well. And apparently, according to AV test, it is just the most secure antivirus scanner out there. Now, as you would have expected, all these features and all this security comes at a bit of a price. So my license is one year, three devices. So that's my smartphone, my tablet and my desktop. That's 100 euros a year, which is not at all the cheapest, but it is the best performing and it is the most secure. So anyway, guys, if you like this video, please press that like button. And if you didn't hit that subscribe button for when I make a video that you do like, you can also follow the channel on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And if you want to really support the channel, get better lights, get better audio, there's a Patreon page for that. Fernando, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next week.